Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today, a quick video for the F-16C. The T-Pod now has the air-to-air -air feature. In this aircraft, currently at least, it's used for VID only, visually identifying other aircraft. It's not used for weapon employment. First things first, let's just check that our correct cheek hardpoint power is on and it is and our fire control radar is on and it is. For this video, we're going to assume that you're already proficient in the fire control radar and use of the T-Pod air to ground mode. There are two ways of selecting air to air mode in the T-Pod. First of all, we could be in a nav mode here, master mode, and then we can go to our T-Pod. Defaults to air to ground, but we could click air to ground there and we could click air to air mode there. Right, let's put that back. Get rid of the teapot. What we could do otherwise is click air to air mode. And then if we go into our TGP, so main menu, TGP, it will default to air to air mode. And the important thing is that this teapot in air to air mode will slave to wherever we have a radar lock. Currently we have no radar locks. Let's get ourselves radar locks. So let's get that set up. We're going to go CRM, let's zoom out find a target in this role play this target does not have a coalition we cannot iff him for some reason so we need to get vid roe we're going to tms up there to bug and you can see it's jumped back onto sms page which is normal so we're just going to go main menu tgp again automatically in air to air mode and it's now looking where the fire control radar is looking we can use our usual controls then to zoom in and we can change our field of view and we can swap between TV, white hot IR, black hot IR, whatever gives us our best view of the guy. And we can see it's clearly a Reaper drone. And from that, we can tell his coalition. That's the basic use of the air to air mode at the moment. But there is another little trick. What we can do is achieve a lock from this via the teapot, a point track which will then allow us to lose our lock or even turn our radar off and it will keep tracking just via the T-Pod point track. What we're going to do to do that is just to reset everything. Okay, I've reset the scenario. I've turned active pause off because that tends to upset it. I am going to go to air to air mode. I'm going to soy on the FCR, which I've done. Find the target. I'm going to bug him. That's all good. T-Pod, so main menu teapod you can see that we have a lock on him there everything seems about right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to soy over to this screen here so dms down and just to maybe make it a bit more reliable i'm going to go to ir no in fact i think tv would be best i'm going to tms up once and you can see i'll just pause it there it's achieved a point track on him so it's following him now not via the radar but by its own visual track now notice we found that if the target is really far away it might not always be able to achieve this and it seems like it's finicking not working properly but it's probably simply because a target needs to be big enough to the teapot whether that's affected by the target size i'm not sure yet probably but that will need some more research what we can now do is we can lose our radar lock so we're going to soy over to the left screen now we're going to tms down and we can see that we no longer have a radar lock. In fact, we we'll probably even turn our radar off altogether. Radar is now off. And what we can see now, that even with the radar off, we're still getting a T-Pod track. We have, rather than the target solid radar box, we have the dotted box showing that we're tracking him on the T-Pod point track. So the cool thing about this is I don't need to use the radar lock to follow him anymore. And I can, if I saw you over to the right screen, I can still zoom in and zoom out and I've got all my... Uh, usual controls that I can do. That's all we want to show for the air-to-air teapod feature at the moment. I hope that was useful and see you later.